How's everybody doing today? Here we have a 2014 Chevy Silverado. Going to be replacing the AC line from the compressor to the condenser. You can see right there. Of course, it's all already leaked out now, but it was definitely coming out of the line. Had a little pinhole in it. We'll start with just taking down this shield, 15 millimeter. Oh my goodness, so it's got four uh, fifteenth and four tenths. Okay, so we've got one, probably 13, on that stud right there, on the compressor, and then one 13 right there, going to the condenser. We'll start with getting the one off the condenser. I just got a deep well and like an inch, inch and a half extension, 13. The old Milwaukee Insider. Because I had my guys pick them up, and they were supposed to deliver them, and it showed that they've been signed for. So, I'm the same day. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get the one off of the compressor. Let's see. All right, the well, well. The wheel well didn't look like a very good option, so I'm gonna go right down from the top. You can see it pretty good. Right down in there, right there. So I'm just going to take a mid, a swivel. All right, I got a 13 mid. I got my double swivel vim thing in my jigger because it don't look like a single swivel is going to be enough so let's see if that'll work and i got a three inch extension i need your card my card for walmart why to get to the walmart uh. hi bella Bye, Bella. Bye. <laughs> I don't know why she's camera shy. Okay, well, I got the 13 mid on there, but there's not enough room to get anything else on there. So, there's uh, the strut tower is in the way. I'm gonna see if the shallow will fit on there. I just figured that stud, it wasn't gonna fit with that stud. I got the 13 short on there with that double swivel vim. Unplug your 
prepare to switch. Oh. Try to pull it off the condenser. switch over our switch high pressure switch hopefully this has already got seals on it yep got one there and got one there all right so just switch over your high pressure switch it is a 14 millimeter um, it seals off of the o-ring so you don't have to get it very tight now i'm just going to take this in here fish it in down by the compressor up to the condenser and uh, bolt her back on all right so they uh we ordered a 30 pound thing a r134a and it was supposed to be in here yesterday and didn't show up so we just called them and they're we're bringing it. But, so now I'm just taking this in and fishing it down in here, back between the heater hoses, or beside the heater hoses. Get this up on the condenser. There it is. All right, get that one on there. Yep. Might have to get that one on there from the bottom. All right, so now I'm gonna put my line on the compressor. Somehow or another. So now I'm gonna get this 13 on there, get that tightened up. And see if I can get this thirteen on from up here. I'm going to get this uh, 13 on down here. Get that tightened up. tank Freon get this thing charged up all right well I had to uh, wait till the next morning to get my uh, r134a container and then I charged it up and forgot all about uh, the video so but that's how you change a hose <laughs> all right thanks for watching hope you all have a great day